Hey guys, uh, so I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently today because I wanted to show you my 23andMe results. Um, I get a lot of questions about my ancestry and heritage and I didn't know too much about it. I've done a little work um, doing genealogy, but I've only traced back, I don't know, five generations. So I was really interested in getting this report. Um, my brother did ancestry and he said that we were almost all German, which was a uh, shocking to me. And so I know 23andMe is more specific. So I decided to get that and share the information with my family so we can do a little bit of uh, research. 23andMe, it costs like $240. It's um it's a little pricey, but the ancestry reports are really in detail. And so that's what I want to go over with you today. There are also like carrier status reports and traits and wellness. It's things about like your body composition. The only new information that I really found was from the ancestry report. 51.4% British and Irish. Let's see. Let's break into this. Okay. So it says I'm 99.9% European and 0.1% East Asian and Native American. And then it gives you a little ancestry timeline, which um, is very consistent with the research that I have done. So it says uh, you most likely had a parent, grandparent, or great-grandparent who was 100% British and Irish. Um, I know for sure that this is true, um, at least the British part. I'm not really sure if I have any ancestors in Ireland. Uh, I didn't uncover this during any of my research. So this person was likely born between 1900 and 1960. Um, and then it takes you back a little bit. You most likely had a great grandparent, a second great grandparent or a third great grandparent who was 100% French and German. This person was likely born between 1840 and 1900. Um, that is also true as far as I know on the French side. I, I haven't found any Germans in our ancestry. So I wish they differentiated um, between British and Irish and French and German, but I guess it's impossible. So and then Scandinavian, which I expected to be more of my ancestry. Um, you most likely had a second great-grandparent, third great-grandparent, fourth great-grandparent, or fifth great-grandparent who was 100% Scandinavian. Uh, I also believe that this is true. Then it goes a little bit further, Balkan and Sardinian, but those are such small percentages of my breakdown. Your ancestry composition chromosome painting. Um, these are your chromosomes. We've painted them with your ancestry composition results. The first 22 are called autosomes and come in pairs of two, each represented by one of the colored horizontal lines in the graphic below. Chromosomes have different lengths and are named 1 through 22 when sorted by size. Uh, lastly, we look at your ancestry on your X chromosome. Two copies like the autosome if you're a female and one copy if you're male. So yeah, 99.9% .9 European, 97% Northwest European, 51.4% uh, British and Irish, uh, which as far as I know is just British. And same thing with French and German. As far as I know, this is only French, but I haven't done too much research, so I'm, maybe I'm incorrect about this. Um, and Scandinavian, this is the only thing that really surprised me. Uh, when I hear like family stories and, and everything, I was always under the impression that this was a much larger percentage of our makeup. So this leads me to believe that this broadly Northwest European category, which is 28.6, is predominantly Scandinavian. So this says broad regional assignments. Sometimes a piece of DNA matches a regional population but cannot be assigned to a more specific population. Um, in such a case, we assign the DNA broadly to that regional population rather than a specific one. So yeah, that, that is probably Scandinavian. Um, and then almost 2% Southern European, uh, which I guess was a bit of a surprise, but that's just broadly Southern European, 1.6%. Um, but that's, you know, negligible. And then 0.1% East Asian and Native American. So yeah, that is my 23andMe results. I know a lot of people that were very surprised by their results. And so I do recommend getting this, even though it's a little pricey. It definitely told me a little bit more about my heritage that I was not aware of. Um, and if anybody is familiar with this test or tests like it that could tell me if I could differentiate between British and Irish and French and German, uh, as far as I know, you cannot do that on any of these tests, but I really would, would like to know. So, So thank you for listening and I will see you guys soon. Bye.